Hi guys, Tech Geek for Life here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to flash Android 4.4 KitKat onto your Samsung Galaxy Nexus i9250. That's the GSM model, so you can't flash this on any of the other variants. As the name suggests, this is a Nexus device, so it's supposed to get direct updates from Google whenever they're released. However, it's two years old now, so Google has stopped supporting it. So they'll never push out KitKat to this device. So today we're going to flash it on there through a custom ROM. You need to make sure your phone is rooted and you need to download three files which I'll leave links to in the description. First file is the actual ROM. Second file is gapps for the Google Apps so you can use the Google services. And the third and final download is for the super user file to maintain root access after flashing this. It's not 100% stable at the moment, however the development is going quite well so far, so you could end up with a stable build sometime in the future. As you can see, I'm running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and check if we got root. There you go. Congratulations, your device has root access. Now we'll switch it off. As I said, I'll leave the links so you can download the files that you need from the description. You need to make sure you're running the latest Clockwork Mod Recovery, and as of this time speaking, it is version 6.043. And you can flash that using fastboot, so fastboot flash recovery and then the name of the recovery file. And now we'll put the phone into recovery mode so we can flash this. So you need to hold down volume up and volume down, as well as the power button all at the same time. Phone vibrating, tell us it's switching on. Then... Oh yes, you need to make sure your bootloader is unlocked and your phone is rooted, as I said. The lock state unlocked. Then you need to use your volume buttons to scroll through until you see your recovery mode. Then press the power button to go into recovery. And there we go, the unlock thing because it's unlocked bootloader. And there we are, into Clockwork Mode Recovery. And there you can see at the top, version 6.043. Next thing you need to do is go to Install Zip. This will, this might be slightly different depending on whether you choose the touch-based recovery or the standard recovery. And then you need to go Choose Zip from SD Card. Then the top one, which will take you to your SD Card. You need to scroll through down to where your files are, so this one right here is the ROM file it's called AOSP Maguro Maguro is like the name of the actual device's name I don't know how you pronounce it but yeah it's a zip file, it's the actual ROM file click on that, yes install Just give that a few minutes. And then after that, you need to flash um, G apps. There we go, the state's moving along. Installation from SD card complete, so you've installed the ROM. Next, you need to go choose it from SD card again, then the top one, zero slash. You need to go right down again to where the next file is, and you need to select uh, the one which says PA G apps, parent, uh, PA is for Paranoid Android, but the, the G apps are for 4.4 KitKat, so they work. You need to select that. Installing, there we go.
You can see it says Android 4.4 detected. I'm going to go through the whole process without speeding up in case anyone complains that their phone messed up or I didn't, I didn't complete the whole thing and I cut it out because it messed up or anything. So we're going to go through the whole process. There we go. And that's all done. Now the last thing. Go right down, and we need to select the one which says update super super su, so super super user. Okay, yes, and there we go. Done. Go back, and then wipe data factory reset. Data wipe complete and wipe cache partition. Complete and advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. Done and that's it. We should boot into Android 4.4 KitKat now. Yeah. And it is fairly stable at the moment, but there are graphical glitches. So like if you want to rotate, I don't think it does that properly yet. And when you take a, when you take a screenshot, it doesn't do that quite properly yet. And that's purely down to uh, the lack of drivers for KitKat at the moment for this device, because obviously Google have dropped support, so all the device uh, drivers need to be rewritten, so they can be used with KitKat. There we go, Android. And as it's the first boot, this will take some time. You can always skip forward if you want. I'll leave a little annotation or something to skip forward. And as of the moment, uh, if you go on to the XDA site at the moment, you will see that there are quite a few Android 4.4 ports coming out at the moment. And there's, there's one for the S3 Mini, there's some for the Xperia P, um, and there's also one for the Galaxy S2 i9100G. And the next is four, and there's a few other devices, and I'll leave links to those threads down in the description. And I'll leave a link to the thread where I got this ROM from as well, just to, to, just to prove it is legit. I'll just leave that. And there we go, it's booted up. Initial welcome screen, so you know, kingdom. Skip, skip. There we go, setup is complete. And we now have Android 4.4 KitKat on our Galaxy Nexus. Proof we don't need Google to get the latest updates. There we go, about device, Android version 4.4. And we get the new KitKat Easter egg. 
This is actually the first time I flushed it, so I haven't actually had to play around with it yet. There we go. And this, there's your proof that this is Kitkat. And as you can see, it does run smoothly on the Galaxy Nexus. And as it said, Hangouts is now with you. Hangouts now contains your texts and uh, whatever you, uh, whatever else you do. And the super issue, super user binary installed, there's a problem, but yeah, you can update that. And it now includes cloud printing, which is a new feature in KitKat. So you can print anywhere from your phone. I think you need to sign up for HP Mobile Web or the, or the Google Cloud Printing Service. Otherwise, that's it. You have successfully installed KitKat on your Samsung Galaxy Nexus. KitKat only really needs minimum 500 meg RAM to run, so it can run on lower end devices. And this being a two year old device, it's not exactly amazingly fast anymore. However, it's still decently specced. And we've got Google Wallet as well. I'm not signing in yet, but that's it really. And as you can see, when you go and lock the screen, you can see the one of the glitches because of the lack of drivers. As I said before, they aren't there aren't any uh, drivers released for KitKat as of yet. But I think there's a petition out there for getting the drivers released purely for development. And one of the other new features on KitKat, the camera thing. If you, on, this was still here, this wasn't here on Android 4.3 or below, however, on 4.2 and above, you could just have the, I don't think you've got it here now, but you could have the lock screen widget for the camera access, however now Google's implemented that the little camera thing, Google now accessible from the lock screen. Can't reach Google, that's because I haven't connected it to the internet yet. And there you go, there's your Google services, which is why I installed G apps. Everything working as it should. And the only main bug is the graphical glitches. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, favourite, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching.